ahead and sign up to Webull by using my link in the description below. Right now you can get up to 12 free stocks, each one of them valued up to $3,000 a share by using my link in the description below. Remember, Webull has a lot of great perks like zero commission fees, you can trade during extended hours, and a lot of other things. As well as now, you can use TradingView to trade with it as well. So go ahead and check out Webull. I'll put a link to them in the description below. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at how you do this. So first, I'm gonna go to TradingView here, and I'm gonna go in a separate tab here uh, just to show you this first. So once you're on TradingView here, and again, I'll put a link to TradingView in the description below. Really great uh, trading tool for technical analysis to chart. Uh, so again, I'll put a link to that in the description below as well. So once you're in TradingView, and once you're in a stock, so right now we're on Tesla here. What you wanna do is on the bottom, you wanna click on this button that says Trading Panel. Once you click on this button, something like this will open up. So notice what it says here, connect to a broker to trade directly on our charts. So here are the brokers that they currently support. So you have like, you know, TradeStation, Interactive Brokers. There's also paper trading, which I've talked about in the past. But now, as you can see here, recently within the last month or so, they now added Webull as well. And as you can see, it even says beta here because you know this is very new feature here that they just launched. So really great feature here. So you're gonna click on Webull here and you're basically gonna log in to your Webull account from TradingView here. Now I've already done this. So let's go back here. Let's actually head on over to TradingView here. Again, I've already, uh, you know, logged into Trading or tra to my Webull account here on TradingView. So as you can see down here, you'll notice that it now says Webull once you have logged into your Webull account. Now, after you've logged in to your Webull account. Um, you can click on this Webull tab now, and it's gonna look something like this right here. So once you click on it, it's gonna open up here, and you'll be able to see a couple of things in here. So you'll be able to see your current positions on Webull. For me right now, I don't have any positions on Webull open. So for me, it says that there are no open positions in my account yet, which is true. But if you do have any open positions, you can see them all in here, this first tab. Second tab, orders. So here you can see all the orders that you've placed. Number three will be the history. So you wanna take a look through your history, what you've done. Uh, four, account summary. And then five, notifications log. Also on here as well, it will show you your account balance, how much equity you have, and of course, the profit that you've made. I would assume for that particular day, I believe. Or it might be open profit and loss. I'm not 100% sure on that yet, uh, but it does display this information on there as well. Again, this is when you click on this Webull tab, this is what opens up here, and this is the stuff you'll be able to see. Now let's go back here to Trading View here. And so now let's actually talk about how you can place a trade now through Webull using a trading view here and how this can be very useful here. So let's say, and again, we're on Tesla here. And again, this is just an example. So I can show you guys how you would do this here. So let's say, you know, when it comes to like trading view and Tesla here on this chart, let's say you're looking at Tesla and you're like, you know, you notice that there was a gap up here right, between uh, let's see, this is September 8th and September 11th. So notice that it gapped up a little bit here. So a lot of people believe that, you know, the majority of gaps get filled. Uh, and actually research has shown that the majority of gap ups do get filled. Not all of them, but the majority of them. You can actually see that over here between June 30th and uh, what is this, July 3rd, right? Notice how it gapped up and guess what? days later it came and it filled that gap perfectly it came down and it closed out this gap by filling it here 
So maybe you think something similar is going to happen here. And again, this is just an example, just me making up something here so you guys can see how you would potentially use this here. So let's say you think it's gonna come down to the top of this wick to fill this gap here. So, you know, maybe around right there, you know, 2, 256.33. So what I can do right from here is I can actually just right click. And here I can say trade. And notice that when I hover over trade, look at the price that it has here. It literally has the price that my cursor was at 256.33 so that you know you know exactly what price you need to use you don't have to like write it down or maybe you forget about it whatever right it actually right here will automatically add that price to these trades and so you can actually select one of these already pre-built options or you can create a new order but let's say we're looking to potentially buy Tesla there, right? Maybe we think it's gonna fill this gap and once it's filled, it's gonna bounce back up. So then I could do something like a buy limit order here. So notice here now this right panel has opened up. So again, we're on Tesla, right? We're on our Weeble app here. So basically if we place a trade here, it's gonna place it on Weeble and then we'll be able to you know, trade using TradingView here uh, but through Weeble here. And so again, we can modify our limit price, but again, it's gonna automatically fill this to wherever your cursor was at, right? So my cursor was at 256.33. That's why that's the price that it used in here. But of course you can modify this if you want as well. Now you can also, and this is what I really love about Weeble, right? They have take profit and stop loss as well. So I can click on take profit. So remember what take profit is, it's basically if this if, if Tesla's share price reaches this price that I set here, it's gonna take profit from me. It's gonna sell the security from me so I can take profit and make money. And of course I can set whatever price I want there, or I could set a percentage amount as well, right? So let's say, you know, I wanna do 1%. So then it's gonna go ahead and fill you know, the, the automatically feel what that price should be in here. If I wanna set it take profit, I don't have to, but you have this ability here. And then I can also do a stop loss. So if I click on this, now I can set a stop loss. And again, I could even set it to a price. And since I'm on the chart here, I can very quickly take a look and, you know, see what a, a, uh, a reasonable stop loss would look like. So maybe like, you know, I could set my stop loss here. Notice multiple candles here uh, were, you know, bouncing from this support area here around 244. They cannot break through there. So maybe I could just, you know, looking at this chart right away, say, okay, 240, you know, 244-ish, maybe almost 245, I can set a stop loss there because it looks like an area of support. So I could come in here and, you know, right away say 255 or whatever it needs to be here. And then time and force, so you could do day or good till you cancel it. And then I can go ahead and, you know, place this order. So buy one share of Tesla at this limit price. And again, you can obviously, you know, maybe you want 10 shares, so you can do 10 as if you want or 100 shares, whatever it is you want here. Um, but this is how you can use TradingView now to trade on Weeble. Uh, so I don't even have to go on my Weeble app anymore. I can just do everything from here and have all these great features, great indicators, great pattern, you know, all these uh, different signals and things that TradingView provides and, you know, do all my trades on here. So anyways, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Check out the Discord, link to it in the description below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think, and I will see you guys next time.